I wanted a lightsaber for the beginning of this video, but of course my son cleaned up his room and I can't find it. So here, it's all about lasers today. Buckle up, Buttercup. Disclaimer, I wanna stop the trolls right there in their tracks. Don't you dare hit that keyboard because I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, the laser function of these lights are not legal to use on the road. These are for off-road use only, on the trails. Brand new, right off the production line, we have the Oracle LED laser fog lights. I saw these out in SEMA in November. I got to see them demonstrated and I'm shocked. I think there's 3,200 feet of projection with the laser function. So in today's video, I'm going to install these and then give you a little glimpse of what it's like at night. But in a future video, I'm gonna take this Bronco to the trails and just really show you how all of these lights perform in real life nighttime situations. So let's get started with the install. Let's see what's in the box. Now I'm not gonna go into a huge detailed installation video for these because there are different applications for everyone's Bronco. Everyone has different trim levels. Depending if you have the aux switches, if you have an external aux switch that you've installed, um, it's going to differ for you. But they do offer an installation guide, which is already out. It's a QR code. They have a lot of different installation videos that will show you what option is best for you, depending on what application you have. Now, the way I'm going to wire these up is I have the fog light option on my Bronco, so I originally purchased my Bronco with a capable bumper that had fog lights. Since then, I've upgraded to the modular bumper, but I still have that switch available. So my plan is to wire the fog light function up to uh, these fog lights so I can use it for the fog lights. And then I will use aux switch one to use the laser beam setting because Oracle does say that it needs um, a 30 amp aux switch. So that means it's aux switch number one. These fog lights are made for the modular bumpers, so they're gonna be really easy to install itself into the bumper. If you don't have the modular bumper, I'm sorry, but these are not gonna work. But before I start installing these, I do need to take my Luminate 5 lamp fog lights out. I'm still very satisfied with them, but I gotta keep bringing you all the content about the Bronco stuff. So we're gonna give these a try, test them out on the road, just so you guys can see what you would be getting before you purchase. And of course, just like usual guys, you can get this on buckleupoffroad.com, just like all the other modifications I have done to Buttercup. This is way easier. My old fog lights are out. The wiring is pretty set up, but I want to go into depth a little bit about what I'm doing for my application. Your application can be totally different, but I'm using aux switch number one, which I have to have a 30 amp draw, which is this yellow wire right here. This is the aux switch one. This is the wire that I'm going to use for the laser beam option on the fog lights. And like I mentioned before, I originally had the capable bumper that had fog lights in it, but when I switched to modular, you know, I didn't use them for the Luminate fog lights because those are plug and play with harness that piggyback off the headlights. So we tapped into the stock fog light connector. And by doing so, I'm going to be able to control these fog lights with the fog light switch in the Bronco. Come here and I'll show you where that is. If your Bronco came with fog lights from the factory, this button right here is going to control the fog lights. I just wanna point out that this whole part of my bumper is off. You're not gonna to need to do this. This is very specific for me because I got this modular bumper after the fact and it was not ready for the sensor. So it didn't have the sensor holes and everything. So I had to modify this bumper very much and all the wiring and everything is not how it's going to be stock if you're doing this. But I wanted to make you aware of that. I didn't want to scare anyone away. You don't have to take apart your modular bumper to install these, but I do. Wiring is all set up. I'm gonna to wait to plug these in until after I actually slide this into the bumper. Just make sure you realize that these are clearly marked LED only, LED plus laser, same as the ones you're gonna connect them to. Now you may think that you could just slide this in from the front, you cannot. You're gonna actually move this up from behind the bumper and push through.
All right, last zip tie is up. All of the wires are secure. Let's turn it on and see what it looks like during the day. All right, everything is working. We gotta wait a few hours till it gets a little dark. Uh, then we'll get some night footage of this. I know they're gonna be so bright, they're probably gonna blow my mind because I saw these at SEMA in a completely lit building and it was shining across the entire building to the other side of the wall. So these suckers are bright. This is not the first Oracle installed product I've done. I do have the mirror lights. Those have been extremely bright and helpful on the trails. And I do have two other products that I plan to install. I've got the rock lights and then I have these pod lights that I'm going to install. Um, so you'll want to stay tuned for that. I'm going to have a video kind of showcasing all of the lighting on this Bronco. I'm going to take it to the trails and just show you these are the difference that pod lights make. These are the difference that the mirror lights make, my headlights and all of that. So you'll want to stay tuned for that video. But in the meantime, let's enjoy this transition and it'll magically become nighttime. All right, it's nighttime and I am sitting in the Bronco with no lights on. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with just my headlights on. There we go, headlights, okay? I'm gonna add the fog lights. There's the fog lights. Now I'm gonna do just the laser beams, but I'm going to turn off the fog lights. Whoa, it is so far. You can see a substantial distance. We're gonna do it with the headlights. And then just for some fun, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my Oracle mirror lights. Look at that. I am like the sunshine. Let's take this camera outside so you can see it a little bit better. Now we're gonna do a little fun thing. We're gonna That's get, <laughs> it's fun for me because I don't have to do it. Jim is gonna get out and run all the way down to see how far this road is. Turn those back off. I changed the setting on the camera a little bit. Turn the laser beams off. This is just, I wanna use just the laser. Okay, I just the lasers. Around. So this is nothing on. I don't think even the running lights are on, are they? So just my grill lights are on. Those just kind of stay on. There's no way to turn those off. Okay, turn the laser beams on. Gah, that's- Can you see there's a mailbox like a quarter mile yes. down there? That is so far. That's the fog lights and the laser beams. You can kind of see the beam. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You can see the beam on the camera. That is crazy. Do you see that? Right? Ah! There and there. Unbelievable. Okay. You ready? I think so, I guess. Oh wait, look at all these lights in there. Oh, the Bronco's amazing. really bright. Amazing. Okay, let's do this. We just got the... Just the wow. laser beams. Okay. I know. Far run. Are we ready? Yep. Go. Run, Jim, run. Okay, let's see. There's Jim still running all the way down there. And you can see him very clearly. That's crazy. These things are absolutely insane. You cannot look at them. I mean, you can kind of look down on them and see the laser beam. Don't even look at it straight on. That's super dangerous. This makes me really excited about the video. I'm gonna drop probably the next couple weeks. I'm gonna go to the off-road park 
and then maybe somehow measure the length of these and then just show you all the different lighting options I have on the Bronco and show you the huge difference it makes to have all of these out on the trails, some real life situations, do some wheeling, have some fun. Be sure to check out buckleupoffroad.com. Get you a set of these. These things are freaking awesome. Until next time, guys, buckle up, buttercup. I always take my advice from Dwight Schrute. If an idiot does it, then I won't do it. Stop acting like an idiot.